of guys who know their stuff. Now let's get to some of that recruiting insight with Matt and a couple experts. Aaron, thanks a lot. We're joined now by Trey Biddy and Otis Kirk of Hogsports.com. You guys keep up with recruiting all the time. And what's going on, if, if we can just start talking about Broderick and Cody? I think a lot of people are wanting to know. Otis, what's going on with Cody? Well, he, he played AAU basketball this weekend with the uh, Hawks out in Las Vegas. He'll be back this week. And, uh, you know, he could make a decision as early as this week. It's between Arkansas and Auburn. And uh, would not be surprised at all if he makes a decision this week. Uh, I think Arkansas is in good shape there right now. Um, and, you know, Cody's the type of kid, I think when he commits, that's where he will go, a bit, you know. And I think, I think it's looking pretty good for the Razorbacks, but Auburn's still in the hunt. And, like I said, a decision could come as early as this week. Yeah. We still don't know what's going on, Trey, with Broderick Green. He's, he kind of had some strange comments, I guess, at the camp the other day. W what's the latest on that? Well, I mean, it's obviously very good that he came to the camp because mm -hmm. initially he wasn't planning on coming to the camp at all. Um, you know, it's, it's a good... It's a good tool for Arkansas to get a good close evaluation of him. Um, it's a good chance for Broderick to be able to mingle and interact with the coaches, even though these things aren't supposed to be for recruiting purposes. Um, there's really not a better recruiting tool out there than yeah. the camp. And uh, so that's a really good sign that he came and showed interest like that. And uh, it's, it's really good for both parties. There. Yeah. And, and tell us a little bit more about this camp. Cam Baker is a guy Arkansas is really looking at. What do you know about him? Well, I mean, it's getting out pretty quick about him running that 4.30, 40-yard dash. Also ran a 4.09 shuttle. Uh, really good time. Uh, sometimes the best people to ask about prospects are, are uh, other players that went up against them. And more than one guy told me that, that Cam really stood out to him. Um, if you look at him, you know, he's, he's about six foot, 163 pounds. May seem a little light. But his brother was about the same size when he came up here uh, from, from uh, OCO and then, of course, went to uh, prep school for a year. And he's pushing 200 pounds now, still one of the top five fastest guys on the team. So that's encouraging there. He's probably going to take a long time uh, to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Arkansas coaches like him for that Z spot, uh, kind of a finesse player. And um, uh, Tennessee, I guess, and Georgia Tech kind of like him a little more for uh, – for as an athlete, possibly mm -hmm. to play defense, um, but he's going to drag this out to January, probably or December, and uh, and take all of his visits and and make the right decision for him. Yeah, don't blame him for that. Otis, you also went to this camp. Just kind of tell us, you know, Corey Williams, I think, is a guy that's kind of shown up on the radar. Who else is Arkansas looking at? Well, you know, Corey Williams was a middle linebacker that just came up here from New Orleans, Carr High School, and just really surprised me. I didn't realize he was that good, you know, but. Uh, a couple of kids that's committed to Arkansas, Wade Grayson from Harrison, offensive lineman, and Grant Cook from Jonesboro. Those kids came up here and showed why they'd been offered by the Razorbacks and showed why they're two of the top prospects in the state of Arkansas. Uh, uh, the thing you've got to be impressed with Wade Grayson about is just that, um, you know, he came to both junior days. He came to the FCA combine. He came to the, FC, the Houston Nut Camp. Now he comes back to the seniors camp. I mean, this kid's been to every event that Arkansas has even remotely had anything to do with, and so he's, he's got a good attitude. You love Wade Grayson's attitude. Grant Cook put on some weight and uh, is bigger than he was, a lot bigger, and probably will have to lose some of that weight and redistribute some of it, but he did run a 508 40, which was impressive for over 300 pound kid. So he was very impressive, and then uh, a kid that nobody knows about that uh, that I got tipped for Max Mfinger before the camp with Markel Carter out of Martisville, a 6'4", 235-pound wide receiver, free safety. When you see the kid, you think, man, that's a nice-looking tight end or defensive end. He's a wide receiver in safety, and he's just, he caught everything that was thrown to him. You know, two kids from Worlton, Josh Tresvan, a corner and wide receiver, Freddie Burton, an outside linebacker, safety. Both those kids are from Worlton. Uh, Freddie, for the first time probably ever, outran Josh. He had a 4.49 40, and Josh had a 4.5. Both of them are really fast, good athletes, good students, and those are the type of kids that Arkansas is, you know, looking at there. Alex Tejado is at the camp, too. There you go. We'll be checking back in with both of you guys as uh, the season draws closer and during the season. Appreciate uh, Trey and Otis. You can read more about the recruiting information at hogsports.com, a division of rivals.com, or you can also read Otis Kirk in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette or subscribe to his Arkansas Recruiting Report. Good stuff, Trey and Otis. Thank you very much. Now we're going to talk about a couple guys on the team this year.